Hello, welcome to this video. I'm Steve Marks at Blackstar UK, calling all bass players. Hey there, welcome to this very exciting presentation video for the new Blackstar Unity Pro bass system amplifier range, the new face of bass. Ever since I can remember, people have been asking us for bass amps. Here we go. This range of bass amplifiers has models that will suit everyone. From the home player to the professional players hitting stages week in and week out. They're straightforward and powerful. Unity's deceptively simple controls allow you to quickly and easily create the tone that works for you and your bass style. From the organic response of classic valve amps to the transparent clean platform, Unity brings you the ultimate in bass tone flexibility. Let's take a look at this range in detail. So, we have a 30 watt combo using an eight inch Blackstar voice speaker. We've got a 60 watt combo with a 10 inch Blackstar voice speaker here. We've got a 120 watt combo with a 12 inch eminent speaker in this baby. The one I'm specifically using at the moment for the demonstration is a 250 watt combo with a 15 inch eminent speaker. Just over here, I've got a 500 watt two by 10 combo, again using eminence drivers. And finally, just below, you can extend your setup with a one by 15 active eminence driven cab, which will add 250 watts of extra stage power to any amp in this range. This cab can also be used as a passive cab if you want, so everyone's a winner. Eminence are the professional choice for a lot of bass players around the world, and our speakers are designed in partnership with Eminence Kentucky, specifically for the Unity range. Firstly, let's imagine the three smaller amps in the range being under one umbrella. So we're talking here, here, and here. The 30, the 60, and the 120 watt combos. Their feature set includes an all analog circuit, three choices of voices, a three band EQ with semi-parametric mid control, a built-in chorus and a compressor. I'm currently using the Unity 250 watt one by 15 combo for this demo. The more professional feature set, if you like, is shared between this model and the 210 500 watt that we have here. The larger Unity Pro bass system amps are designed to have a high headroom for a range of different basses. The first thing we see on here is an analog pad switch with a choice of 0 dB and minus 10 dB options. Let's take a closer look at everything else. We have three choices of voicing for our tone. Let's take a look at classic, which is a valve inspired growl. Modern, which has high headroom and really nice dynamics. And then finally flat, which is a really clean, transparent tone. We then have a choice of three drive tones if we so wish to add them to our original clean tone with a blend dial which is on the top here uh, of your amplifier. The choices are a smooth open harmonically rich overdrive and in this demonstration I'm going to start clean and I'll add the drive in afterwards. Let's
let's add a little more with the blend. We've got a balanced pedal-like distortion next. Again, I'll start with clean and engage it. Next up we've got a balanced pedal like distortion, again I'll start clean and then I'll engage the distortion undercurrent. And finally, we've got an in-your-face full-on fuzz. Again, I'll play clean and add the fuzz. Again, there's a three-band EQ with a semi-parametric mid-control to shape your bass tone. And what's exciting about these combos is that we have a choice of power response. The first option is linear, which is powerful and articulate. Let me give you an example. Next up is 6L6. And this has the natural compression and punch of the classic 6L6 tubes. Our final choice is the 6550 option. And this has the dynamics and headroom of very high powered bass rigs. Again, what I'll do for you is just run through all three a bit quicker without the verbal, so you can hear the audio difference. Starting again with linear. This, of course, gives you a ton more options because when you're selecting a drive that you prefer out of the three choices, obviously they work differently with every response. Now, if you think about it, if you're using a different response, a different voicing, the drives are going to sound different for every setting, if you like. So the options are so various. So you can really tailor this amp to be your specific tone. Super important. The drive will sound different on the 6L6, it will sound different on the 6550, for example. Tons of versatility. Blackstar have also included an inbuilt chorus, a compressor, and an octaver to further enhance your sound, giving you the ultimate inflexibility. Let's take a listen. Firstly, let's engage the chorus, so you can hear that. Let's take a listen to the Octaver. The cool thing about the Octaver is there's a choice between a low octave, a high octave, and a mixture of the two. So you can really get some wonderful expressive effects on top of your original signal. Firstly, let's try the low octave.
And here's an example of the high octave. Here's a mixture of a modern voicing with a fuzz undercurrent and the octave mix of both low and high all together. Sounds killer. Let's take a look at the compressor now, which I've got overall control on my top loader panel on the amp. It gives me an overall level of the compression added to my original signal. I can switch it in with the foot switch. So again, I'll start the lick without it on for a couple of bars and then I'll add it in. more dynamic, more squishy, great for slap style. For the live control of your Black Star Unity combo, we've included a two-way foot switch with each model, letting you toggle between your drive and selection of effects. There's an optional FS12 foot switch which gives you the ultimate control over your amp. Let's take a look. We can select our voice here. We can add our drive to the mix if we choose, which is dependent on the blend levels on the amplifier. We can even select which choice of drive we want by using A or B or B or C simultaneously to scroll through. C stands for chorus. D lets you engage the octava. And E is our chromatic tuner. With the additional two-way connected, we've got a switchable compressor and also an effects loop defeat. So let's take a look at the rear panels of the amplifiers now. Okay, so looking at the rear panel, here's our mains of course. There's our foot switch input for either the optional five-way or the two-way supplied. We've got a stereo jack input for our MP3 player. USB for recording, direct out, headphone, stereo jack output. And over here, we've got an XLR output, which we can choose as either an emulated line out or a standard DI. The emulated giving you sort of a cab sim. There's an overall trim pot level as well, if it's too hot for on stage, or if it's too little, you can really push it quite loud there to your engineer. There's a ground lift also, just in case we're getting any hum from the venue. We've got our effects loop, send and return, of course, if you're using any external effects. Here we have our inbuilt effects. We've got a separate chorus level, trim pot, and an octave blend. If you want a minimal chorus, you can bring that all the way back. It's just a very slight chorus. Whereas all the way up gives you a really creamy, nice chorus effect. Here we've got the octave blend between a low octave and the high octave choice. And you can have a mixture of the two together, which creates some wonderful, very modern sounds, especially when mixed with drive. This is super important, the cab link. This is really cool. What we can do here is connect an XLR cable and connect it to our extension cab, which is available at 250 watts in a 1x15 eminence configuration. Let's take a look at that. Again, because this is a powered cab, we've got our mains there, and we've got the cab link here. So we have the other end of our XLR cable and that's giving us an extra 250 watts of power. What's also super exciting is that we've got a through so we can connect a number of these cabs as many as we want to add an extra or a further 250 watts. So these babies will link to any amplifier, any Unity amplifier in the range. Awesome. So you can buy a small 60 watt, connect it here and increase your power infinitely to just over 300 watts. We've got a ground lift again 
and an overall volume of this cab. A little trim pot here. Also, we've got a speaker input, so you can use this as a passive cab as well as being active. Really exciting. Like I said earlier in this video, this is a really monumental moment for us. The Unity range is something we've never done before for bass players. And we feel as Blackstar, 10 years into our history, last year, we'd really hit the market in lots of choices of amplifiers for guitar players. We feel this is the right time to bring to fruition a bass range. Around the world, people have been asking us for bass since we started. So it's a really monumental moment. I think you'll agree with me that they look absolutely stunning, really stylish, loads packed full of features. So this is for NAM, Winter NAM 2018. It's been a pleasure to show you the bass amps. I play bass in a pro band every week, um, although I love playing guitar, of course. That's my main instrument, bass is my secondary instrument, and uh, I do a lot of work, and me personally, I'm so looking forward to getting these out with me because they sound killer. As well at NAMM 2018, we're showing our 10th anniversary combos. This is the R Azan single-ended Class A combo, which is absolutely wonderful. We've got the Artist and the Series 1 versions as well, all with different valve options, giving you a different flavour. We've got the classic HT1 and HT5 in limited edition cream, which I'm sure you can agree, it looks absolutely lovely as well. And we've got the HT Venue Mark II, which is stunning and it's getting really rave reviews. So, listen, thanks for watching. I've been Steve here at Blackstar UK, and we'll see you soon. And make sure you check all of these products out in your local retailer. Go into your stores, speak to the guys, and I'll see you out on the road. Take care.